the majority of the population will get back pain at some point in their life. Um, for acute back pain, which is, you know, you're doing something and then you feel your back hurts the next day, like lifting or manual handling, then this can be really useful. So the primary flexor of the hip, the primary mover of the hip is a muscle called psoas. It attaches all the way from the hip to the l lumbar spine, so the, muscle, the joints in the back. And it's very commonly involved in back pain. So if you can relieve tension in the psoas, you can relieve your back pain often. So just to show you how to do this, all you need is um, a child's ball, so something which has a bit of give around this size. And you can pick these up from a pound for, from um, any sports direct or kids store, for example. So you're going to place this and you're just going to lie on it. You're not going to lie directly on the middle and uh, in line with your belly button. You're going to go to either side. So just to the left and you're going to put your weight on it as much as you can tolerate and it might feel a bit uncomfortable and you're just going to move forward and back. So you're going to do that 20 times. And this is releasing that muscle which sits on the posterior wall of the abdomen. So behind your in intestines, you've got your psoas muscle. So this is releasing that muscle off for you. Very quick and easy way to do that. So once you've done 20 repetitions back and forward, you want to just move 20 repetitions side to side. Once you've done the left side, it's very important to move the ball over to the right side and do the same. 20 repetitions up and down working through the psoas, even if your pain is left-sided, make sure you keep the body balanced by working on the right, and then 20 repetitions side to side. Once you've done that, come up and see how you feel.